Hey loves, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give you God's word. So whatever you have to do, grab some snacks, grab a drink, whatever you need to feel comfortable. Make sure you're in a relaxed area because I'm going to give you this good vibe burst from God himself. So make sure you just relax to his word and feel the presence that I feel. Because when I'm talking about God, baby, I'm feeling his presence. So I feel him near. So I want to make sure you feel him near. Let's jump right into it. So it says, um, God, are you listening? I did this topic before, but I started to, but I decided to bring it back up again. It says, Seek God, James 158, page 1602. Keep asking God. Doesn't want you to give up after asking just once. Remember, God will is not some mystery, some secret mystery that we, ha that you have to solve. Um, God will is, is, um, about the kind of person you are whenever whenever you happen to be whatever you happen to be seek can, seek um wise counseling proverbs 15 22 pages 8 25 get advice from people you respect make a decision sometimes there's more than one good choice and god may leave it to you to make that choice to stick with it so to sum all this up means basically like whatever you're praying for. So let's say for instance you're praying to get through this um this year. Like say this year been very, very challenging for you and you just like this year really like I thought twenty twenty four was gonna be a great year for me, but it really started it started off as a good year for me, but then it like escalated to a bad year. So I just pray that it get better before this year over. Or let's say you lost the like, you went through a friendship breakup. What I mean by a friendship breakup, say, like, one of your friends left your life or whatever. You like, dang, I really was my friend. I thought we was going to make it through this year. I th really thought we was going to, like, have a ball. But then she turned up acting fake. I found out she was fake or whatever. Or let's say you dated a guy. And um, the guy, he basically broke up with you. You like, dang, I really thought we was going to make it. So... Basically, what I mean, we when they, when they, when these people get ready to be your life, just tell God like I really want to hear from them. I don't want to contact them. I don't want no strings attached it, attached to me. I don't want to remember them none that. And He's gonna heal you properly. He's gonna make sure you're okay. God really cares for us. So whatever we ask for in prayer, like they could be anything that you asking for. I don't know what you guys really pray about, but whatever it is that you're asking Him, continue to ask Him. He hears you. Um, He will come through for you. It's not. Like he don't hear you. It's not like he's not listening. God, one thing about God, he will never turn his back on you. He will never forsake you. He will never leave you in a situation where you're alone. First of all, you're never alone. Second of all, why would you be alone when there's an amazing God like himself? So you're not alone doing those trials, tribulations in your life. You're really there with God. He's sitting right on the side of you. While you're crying, he's crying too. But he's also like... Look, we got to figure out a plan to get you to stop crying. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to fix the issue. So, he goes in his club. I don't know if he got a special toolbox for real, but let's say he got a special toolbox. And basically, he go in his toolbox. He pulled out he pulled out the tools or whatever that'll help you get through your heartbreak. So, he take or get through whatever situation you're feeling. So, basically, he takes you, per se, and he sits you by yourself, and he, he he works on you. He works on your mental. He works on your mind, your soul, your body, your heart. Works on all these things for you so you can feel better. Then once he heals you completely, he's like, okay, my child's ready to face the world again. I took you I took you into a quiet place where you can hear me, basically. And I basically just, you know, healed you in the area you were hurting me. So he basically took you into this this special place and he like heals your body your mind your soul everything you need you need healing on he healed it for you so he took you in that environment he took you in that place and then after he took you in that place he like basically like put you back into you know your body or whatever let's say god let yeah let's say god took you on a trip he took you on a trip out your body you know because he needed to work on it he needed to work on you so basically he took you out your body then you know, work on the areas you're hurting at. And then he puts you back in it because he's like, okay, I fixed my child up. She's not hurting no more. He's not hurting no more. So they can go back into their body, whatever. 
Let's say that's how I went or whatever. Because you never know. But I don't know, though. But I'm just using this for example. So, you know, just trying to get y'all to see what I'm seeing. So, yeah, God is fixing your heart. Whatever you're hurting at, you know, he's always caring you. He's always fixing you. He's very concerned about you either way it go. Like, it don't matter if it's not Sunday. It don't matter if it's Thursday. Whatever day it is, you are his main priority. So, he's going to always worry about how you're feeling mentally. How was your day? Did you eat something? Like, he's going to always worry about you at the end of the day, regardless about, you know, what happens. He's going to always worry about you. You're his number one priority. So, he's going to make sure, okay, I need to see about my child. I need to see if they're okay mentally. How has their day been? You know, he always want to know how your day was overall. I would sit down myself and I tell God, okay, today was a good day, but I don't like this, 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 that, 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 that. I don't get, I ain't going to get into all the details with y'all, but I really tell God for real. But I tell God, you know, the little, the little stuff I be seeing, the little stuff I be feeling on whatever. I tell him what I be experiencing, what I be seeing, and what I think about how the situation goes. So I just be like, you know, just... Been saying like we be on the phone like I pick up my like I will pick up my phone literally but you know let's say for instance I pick up the phone I'd be like you know how you call your friend something like that so I get to talking or whatever and he be listening like you know just he he be really listening so you know he that's why I say he come and help you out and he take all your problems away like I was saying you know when you speak to God. You gonna know that he heard you because he's gonna see your confirmation. He's gonna make. He's gonna let you know I heard you. You know, and I'm gonna. I'm helping on the way for you, especially like when you see them signs on TikTok or you see they be like, God heard your prayer, or you see them on Facebook and they be like, God heard your prayer. I really feel like honestly, if you see um, um uh, pictures like that. That really mean God heard you because why would God put you, put a, put a, um, put something on Facebook or Instagram or whatever and says, God heard your prayer. He's sending you the confirmation to tell you he heard you. He's going to do it at the right time. Or they be like, when they be like, oh, the time is right, I'll help you. That's why I said, God is listening. That's why he be putting them confirmation down here on earth for us to look at. Y'all know y'all be seeing them pictures when they be like, this is a great Bible verse. Um, to look at when they be like, oh, God, I heard my prayer or help is on the way. You know, something pertaining to God. You know, they always put that out there. That's God sending you the confirmation. I really believe so. Because why would he send you a confirmation like that? He heard you. That's why he's saying, I put this out here to, to let you see that I heard what you said. So help is on the way. Don't ever think he's not listening to you. Me is you every day. Don't even... Try not to really go into doubt. Because that's nothing but the devil. Doubt is not of God. Doubt is of devil. So don't let the devil convince you. Oh, God don't hear you. God don't like you. God this, God that. He don't He don't love you for real. Because I ain't going to even lie to y'all. The devil get in my ear all the time. He always tell me every day. He know I'm going to pray in the morning. He know I'm praying at night. So he get in my ear and he tell me all the time. Oh, God is not hearing you. God is not going to help you. You sitting up and praying, praying all day, and you're crying and crying and crying. God don't care for you. God in the corner, like, I do care for you. I do. That's why he said, keep asking me. Keep asking. Um, He doesn't want you to give up. He don't want you to give up just asking him one time. Keep asking him whatever it is. Like I said, I don't know what it is that y'all asking him, but whatever it is. Ask him to do it for you, and it shall be done. Because whatever you ask him for in prayer you can receive that, okay? I put that up for y'all before. Let me pull up again. But I put that up before. Let's see. Whatever. X4. So that is Mark eleven twenty four, And I really like that Bible verse because it, it's really true. Whatever you ask them for in prayer, you shall receive. I'm gonna I'm gonna write that in the video if I can. Or I might just put it down in the comments. But yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also leave that in the emoji if you watch the whole video. And let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I really try once again, like I always say y'all, I really do try my videos to try to make it seem like 
you know, to a point where somebody else, somebody else that never came to my channel before, they see this video, they like, oh, yeah, I get what she's saying now. I want to subscribe to her content. It's very interesting. She talk about Jesus and what he could do for you, so like that. So I just try to get y'all to see, you know, give y'all little examples as much as I can on myself or, you know, give y'all examples of, you know, whatever I come up with. But, yeah, just showing y'all that God is really real. All y'all have to do is just sit down and talk to him. But, yeah. Definitely gonna put this down in the comments if I show it to the end of this video. Like I said, if there any more you that lets me know you watch the whole entire video. I love you guys. Bye.